everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to Army of Rune 1.0. I covered this a little while ago, enjoyed it, but literally fell asleep on camera. So let's see if me standing up for this entire video should uh, solve that problem. I don't know, there's just something about the visual style that just like broke my brain in a really interesting way. Ooh, 2% attack and fire rate for each equipped trinket up to 30 times. Wait, how many trinkets can I equip? That only isn't 30. Uh, or we should just... We should probably just do Ariana for this one. Extra attack damage every five levels. That should work. Yeah, this came out 1.0 kind of recently. And I'm curious to see how it goes. Oh, my spears are based on how I'm facing, though. I really wish it was based on my cursor. I guess I could grab a controller for this. Might be a little bit more accurate. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Yeah. WASD is not exactly what I would call the most pre precise. Works if you're just doing like grid-based movement, but uh, not so not so hot in this situation. I'll have to find some other weapons to kind of roll with here. I don't know if I've beaten. I don't even know if I've beaten the forest yet. Uh, do you want to just do attack size? Yeah. I should probably go for the EXP gain. Just slightly boring. Okay, so the shields make me take zero damage. And they do a little bit themselves. Useful, not amazingly. Uh, let's see, crawling shots, extra attack and fire rate. Let's go for that leather bracer. I just want to secure a couple of things if I can. doesn't help when I trigger that rune multiple times. Or maybe it does. I don't know. <laughs> These little spirity ghosts are uh, kind of tough. Let's see, Trident, Storm Javelin, electrical pools around you. That seems legitimately really helpful. Hopefully I can get a lot more of those. And then increase AOE size and a couple other things. Yeah, I think that might actually be pretty good. Yeah, I remember being kind of ho-hum on this one when I originally covered it. Um, and I'd been meaning to come back because a lot of people had actually been pretty positive about it. Much to my... I don't want to say my surprise, but it's like, you know, the bullet heaven genre is incredibly packed right now. There are absurd amounts of the magic pellets of the closest enemy. Nah, let's just go for the attack size. I want my spears to be huge and to have major AoE. And ideally, short cooldown, too. So that extra attack speed should be nice. Luck, short range, necromancer gauntlets. I do like the necro gauntlets. That's not bad. We can also just do the luck trinket for, the, for now. Okay, golden trident, piercing shot in horizontal vertical pattern. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, it does originate out of out of me. Okay, let's go upwards. It looks like the shamans are summoning the ghosts, but the ghosts don't seem that bad. Magic staff, nah, more rabbit's foot. Oh, that's interesting. Well, standing still, I can aim in a direction. Any, any direction I want. Just can't do the other direction. Do we want to do extra damage and fire rate when health is below 50%? I don't think so. It's kind of hard to be below 50% here. Uh, let's see. EXP gain every number of enemies defeated. Fine, I'll go for the Parchment of the Scholar. At least it lightly pays for itself. Okay. Max health and speed. No, let's just keep going rabbit's foot. I'm not actually sure what the extra luck transfer is to. Okay. Golden trident. No, duration and shots. Yeah, I want these damage fields. 
I think. I also haven't noticed any kind of magnet power up here, which is a bit of an unfortunate thing. Not that bad, but it's kind of one of those where there's a lot of EXP that's just getting left on the ground, and it's kind of hard for me to get it all. Okay, extra bracers, yeah. Universal fire rate, seems like a good idea. Dragonheart for some extra damage might not be a bad idea. But I'm just going to try and max out a couple of my things. All right, there we go. And these things down here, I'm pretty sure, are just like little power-ups and whatnot. Oh, you know what I completely forgot to do? I forgot to up the game speed. I forgot that was an option. Okay. useful because I do a ton of damage with that book power up going give me good nah bracers I mean still useful it's just sometimes that chest can give you like three which is what I'm hoping for or was hoping for right, now I think I think my spears are just done oh I see I was wondering what that would do to me. I guess traps make sense. I don't know. Sometimes it summons like an army of ghosts. Uh, let's see. Leather Bracer? Yeah. Might as well. I, that might be a magnet. I've never seen the blue flower before. Nope. Freezes everything. Dang. I mean, like, we don't really desperately need that extra EXP. Like, I'm in a... I'm in a reasonably comfortable position here. Okay. The Cyclopses are a little tough, but not, like, overwhelmingly. Do want more damage and size on the Golden Trident? No, I think I'm going to keep going luck for a bit. I don't really have, like, a basis for why luck. I don't even know what luck necessarily changes for me. We do need the gold. Unless that was not worth much. I don't know. I see a 382 in the corner. I didn't see that tick up. But I also wasn't paying that much attention. Okay. Make sure they can't get at me. Oh, boss. I guess I'll work on that one. Guess when it's kind of safe for me to do so. Unfortunately... I have let my enemies stack up just a smidge. And yeah, I can't knock him back in the same way. Uh, let's see. Magic pellet against the closest enemy. Powerful shots towards a random enemy. Crawling root. I'm going to try crawling root. I mean, credit where credit is due. Crawling root looks nice. Go for that. Get a chest. Three. Grab its foot up. And EXP. Alright. I see whatever this is. There's the magnet. I was wondering if we'd ever get one. Do we want to do coin purse? Yeah. It's actually kind of good. Bracer. Storm javelin. Bomb? Decent. Okay, and then we have a treasure chest down here. I really wish, considering there's actually kind of some level of environmental design, I wish they had taken that a little bit further with this game and actually had, like, things to do in certain places. Like, I don't know how many of you guys have uh, seen or played... Oh, what is it called? Why am I incapable of remembering the name of it? Ravenwatch? Not Ravenbound, it's Raven Ravenwatch, I'm pretty sure. The game by the developers of Curse of the Dead Gods. 
Uh, that one has effectively a small open world with a lot of different things to do in it. And it's mostly just, you know, kill X enemies in different configurations. Um, but it's still kind of vaguely interesting to explore that world and uh, to, like, pursue different things. And because of how it's organized, there's a much more, like, distinct feeling of, like, intentionality on what you're doing. Kind of like a Slay the Spire map if it was, like, much more open. Uh, though I guess ultimately it doesn't have that many choices. And so I've been craving that specifically out of a lot of these bullet heavens to have just a little bit of something going on that makes me think like, yeah, this is, this is worth specifically pursuing. Uh, or like going here to do. And I guess there was, was that Horde Hunters? I think it might have been Horde Hunters. That kind of had it, but the map was too small and very repetitive. And many of the locations just weren't visit, weren't worth visiting. Okay, I was gonna say let's go up, but I think I need to kill this guy first. How much damage does that lightning do? Yeah, it's not a bad amount, it's not huge, but it's not terrible. And yeah, I can confirm, standing up has made this a little bit more tolerable. I'm not falling asleep in my chair. Uh, but I am still getting that kind of like drowsy feeling looking at this game. There's something about the visual style that is just absolutely wrecking me. Much to my surprise. It's, I don't know, it's not that bad. But it's... It's interesting finding a game that actually elicits this kind of physiological response. Because um, I've never encountered something like this before. Let's work on the Golden Trident for now. I'm gonna hit these weird pig lions. I don't actually know if they're worth going for. And then otherwise, I think I'm gonna go for kind of the buffs. Because if I can find a magnet, Oh, we did. We do have a chest as well. Okay, Let's see if I can kill that guy. A little bit of gold. Here's have got pretty good knockback, so we don't have to worry about it too much. And those lightning lances are um, actually really good. Oh, this was the magnet. You know what? I think I'm just going to take it and run. Get my golden trident up to level 5. So, short cooldown, damage, piercing. Uh, let's see. Start working on gnarling uh, root. I've, there are benefits specifically for getting things up to level 5. And so my goal here, to some degree, is to get as much of that as I possibly can. And I can just run around. The uh, the storm spears are going to slowly kill the boss, probably. But I don't actually have to pay too much attention to. Ah, uh, no, no, I definitely do. Let's see. Because, yeah, the, the one problem with the uh, delaying too long is enemies do get stronger. And I don't actually want them to. I'm reasonably tough now, but there's a possibility that they'll do enough damage that they could actually threaten me. Though, interestingly enough, the boss is just kind of moonwalking away from me. I'm not going to look look this gift horse in the mouth. I'll look at it suspiciously. But that mouth remains unseen. Or the interior of that mouth, I suppose. It's such a weird phrase. I mean, it makes sense. I think the implication is that the horse may bite you. Because uh, horses are kind of mean. Like, they can be really lovely, docile, gentle creatures. But um, they can also be just, you know... Miserable sods. 
The guinea pigs. You'd always think guinea pigs are like the cutest things ever and they'd be so mild and they wouldn't do anything. Then you find like a poorly socialized guinea pig and you're like, oh, this is this is just a crabby little animal. And like you feel kind of bad for it because you know that the owners mistreated it. But on the flip side, uh, actually interacting with said guinea pig is just not worth it. Okay, let's see if I can get some EXP while we're here. Because I might be able to get just enough from all the EXP in this area if we don't kill the boss beforehand. Nope, kill the boss beforehand. I was hoping to get the roots up to level 5. I think there might be a quest for that. But also, doesn't matter. Rabbit's Foot to level 5, Parchment and Scholar to level 5, complete the forest stage, Golden tri tri Trident to level 5. Fast Projectile pierces enemies, so it does seem like there's a fair bit of stuff here. Uh, stage without purchasing any upgrades. What? Oh, like meta progression. That's interesting. But also, not right now. We'll come back to that later once we have all the other goodies. And honestly, I think for now, let's do a little bit of those. Okay, Ancient Forest. Nope. Need more stars. Wait, what? Oh, different characters. Oh, complete the stage with a throwing axe and volcanic orbs to level 5. Sure. I dig this movement speed. Okay, shots, bullet speed, damage. And that's our ability. Though, so mostly attack speed. EXP gain, maybe. Or what were my quests? Okay, throwing axe and then volcanic orbs. Yeah, I can roll with that. Boy, this game feels so much better at hyper speed. The, the clock is going a little faster, but not absurdly so. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, we need both of those, because that was... Just complete the stage with throwing axe. And then volcanic orbs to level 5. I mean, they're both decent weapons, so I'll, I'll gladly pick them up. Oh... I really appreciate this movement speed. Uh, let's just go for the leather bracer for the time being. Okay, throwing axe again. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, this character is not quite as useful. Quicksilver Spears, that magnifier. I like none of these. Can I, like, reroll? No. I guess I'll go for the attack size. The skill cooldown's only for that, and it's just not that strong. Okay, let's scoot around. There's the boss. Elixir of Health, Viking Axe. Now I'm going to keep working on my... On this. Boy, this might actually be unmanageably fast. Oh no, I am I am taking damage. There's just no hit feedback at super speed. But like here, you kind of barely notice it, but uh, with maximum speed mode going it is just non-existent you're just like oh i am actually dying let's go through here leather bracer magnifier sure volcanic orbs and i do actually want to go up if i can there's some watermelon there 
Do I want to try Crawling Root? We never maxed it, so yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's go for the elixir of health. We haven't we haven't worked on that one yet. Uh, let's see. Do we want to do parchment of the scholar? Sure. Okay. Now let's do Viking Helm. That's a full ish combo. We don't get the money damage bonus, which actually is really good. But it's fine. Okay, six shots. Ooh, that's staff. Like, actually really good? Uh, dang? Okay, even more max health. Yeah, I kind of want to guarantee I'm below half. Because if I can do that, that gives me even more damage. Ooh, and damage and fire rate. It's hard to guarantee it being below, but with the, the elixir of health, at least we don't have to worry about it being deadly. I just have to make sure my regen doesn't put me over. Or, you know, the chicken. I also just have to make sure I don't die, but that's... That's a separate deal. Yeah, because we currently clobber them, like, for a lot. Okay, and that's, that's a magnet there. Like, to some degree, it's almost fine. Oh, that's a second magnet. All right, let's get up here, grab this magnet. Get the EXP gain, seeing as we're pulling in a bunch of EXP. We need volcanic orbs to be maxed. All right, so that's pretty good. Grab this and go hug some things. I wish to be harmed. I wish to be heart. I need damage upon my person, not a watermelon. There we go. Okay. The boss, the boss is certainly risky. Falling route to level two. Yeah, this gives me pretty much near maximum possible attack speed, at least with the current upgrade set that I have. And uh, that's reasonably good. Got to keep working on this. I think the runs are exactly, or according to the timer, 10 minutes long. Let's see, two shots. No. I'm just going to work on that helmet. Okay, we have a treasure chest. I should wait for a hot second. Eat the watermelon, that got dangerous. Uh, let's see, bracer, no, orbs. I can take some hits, but I can't take that many hits. More bracer, once again. I mean, my entire goal is to hopefully have two waves of the fireballs rolling simultaneously. Because, boy, if I can manage that, I'm going to be in a good spot. Okay, Viking Helm for maximum destruction. Free chest. Another magnifier. I'll take it. So we've got a magnet to the top right. I'm just going to leave it there for a while. Because I don't need it right now. Because I want to use it more or less as soon as we hit the boss. Hey. The Parchment of the Scholar. Okay, so what is this one? Some shields. 
Those are nice. What about whatever's up here? Bomb? I think. And there's our vo volcanic orbs upgrade. Okay. Screw that. Get avocado. Lose some of our damage, but if I'm strong enough that it doesn't matter. Alright, cool. Then I'm just gonna hang out here. This is a good, pretty good wide open plane. Nice spot for fighting. Uh, I want to upgrade that leather bracer from a practical perspective, but I don't want to touch it at the moment. Because we're about to hit our last wave here. Come back. I wish to make you dead. all the extra gold. I guess we might as well just be routinely summoning spirits to kill. Just for something else to deal with. Yeah, I want to get the gnarled roots up to maximum. Okay, and it's her again. I don't get this boss. Well, elixir of health to max. Gnarled Root. Nah. Almost killed them all. Or almost got the EXP we need. Okay, let's just run around until we find enough EXP or that. I only need a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Didn't realize we hadn't maxed out throwing axe. Okay, we need a little, little bit more. Okay. Because, yeah, overall, overall goal here is more or less get enough EXP that we can max out uh, all of my different abilities. Namely the ones that haven't been maxed out already, which, looking at it now, it is, near as far as I can tell, purely just the, um, purely just the gnarled roots. Because if we're going to have that, we never have to pick it, just for the sake of an unlock. Which is usually kind of what I'm looking for in these games, just getting everything out of the way early. There it is. Alright, so we can now go kill the boss. Yeah, I, I still get cross-eyed playing this, but at least I'm not falling asleep, but I'm on my feet. Die already. There we go. Perfect. All right, does that give me the stars I'm looking for? I think it did. So complete the stage with the throwing axe, volcanic orbs, magic staff to level 5, viking helm to level 5, elixir of health to 5, 5 stages, 5 stars, throwing axe to level 5. Really, I hadn't done that before. Magic staff to level 5, volcanic orbs to level 5, crawling root to level 5. Nice. So we now have weapon evolution. Can evolve into more powerful variants after reaching the max level and meeting certain criteria. Ooh. So we now have crippling axe, igneous orbs, and miracle staff. Poison Root, Whirlwind Pickaxe, and Shackles. Okay. So complete this stage with 60 minutes or more on the clock. Oh, that might be something to consider. That's effectively just extending it further after the last boss has shown up. I have one point in regeneration? Oh, no I don't. I don't have any points. Or no, I must have one point in it. Oh. We can also increase our trinket and our weapon capacity by a smidge. Increases item drop rate and chest quality. And adds more level up choices. So I think I'm going to go for that. Skill cooldown, duration of effects, projectile speed, size, fire rate. 
Oh, everything gets more expensive, too. I guess I'll go for a bit of damage. It's probably fine. Yeah, so how many more? Oh, gosh. Yeah, we have all sorts of characters that we haven't unlocked yet. Tons of weapons we haven't unlocked yet. I'm assuming many of these are also evolutions. Trinkets. Like, this game is massive. Also, features? Oh. Okay. So, this is definitely convincing me to put more effort into this game. Okay, so I have to beat this stage once to even get access to the other stars. Well, that's fine. Okay. What do we want to do? I don't think I've done Ogle yet. So we'll, we'll do a speed round with Ogle. Golden Trident to level 5, Wolf's Fang to level 5. Well, that's easy, and then complete this stage. Okay. Do we want to do Volcanic Orbs again? Wait. Evolves with Fire and... What? Ah, infuses fire. Oh, coin purse. Okay. I'm understanding how this evolution system works. That's kind of cool. I wonder if there are multiple evolutions per weapon or if it's a singular thing. Uh, let's see, evolution's not unlocked yet. I should probably roll Necro Gauntlets, get those up to max. We're going to be a close range boy on this round, though I might try that energy beam as well. just for the sake of unlocking and evolving as many things as I possibly can. Okay, I still haven't tried that. There we go. And the other thing we could try and do, especially if I'm going for more of a close range build, is uh, extending the timer so I'm on the level for 16 minutes. I think I'm still going to go Parchment of the Scholar. Let's take the damage. Okay, Quicksilver Spears, that Viking Helm. I did like the Viking Helm. I think one of my recommended quests was to upgrade the Golden Trident rather than Quicksilver Spears. But I could do Energy Bolt for this one. Yeah, let's just do Energy Bolt for now. Because I know I've never gotten that up to level 5. I think I got fire. Just don't have grass. I could do the Raven's Wing instead. Do Raven's Way. We'll lose a little bit of EXP gain, so I'm going to have to avoid leveling it up. I wonder if leveling it up actually mitigates that EXP loss. Rather than makes it worse. So that might be the case. We most, might also just not have the correct trinket here. That is very much a possibility. There might be one that just does not... Uh, there might be one that infuses grass, but we just don't have it unlocked yet. Oh, it's a ram. That's what it is. Shackles, they're new. 
I'm reducing enemy speed by up to, what, 60% or something? Seems reasonably good. Where'd the... Oh, there's the, there's the ram vehicle. Okay, what do we want next? EXP gain? Yeah. There's guns that are shooting at me. Rude. Okay. Anybody else? No. I think I'm just going to keep working on that EXP gain. Mitigate some of that preemptive loss. That was nice. Come back and fight this guy as much as we possibly can. There we go. Nice. Right. Cool down, reduce, size bigger. That seems reasonable. Uh, let's see. Oh, treasure chests. Yeah, I should probably head for those. here for a hot second. Grab the XP crystal. I guess I'm not using my Viking helmet well enough. I should probably do that. Hey, but this is worth it. Okay, so the XP gain does not get worse. Whoa, energy bulk gets better too. Okay, coin, volcanic orbs. I guess I should work on the volcanic orbs, seeing as they actually have an evolution. I don't know if my base weapon does. Or it probably does, we just haven't unlocked it yet. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start running south. Let's uh let's find some of these, just in case one of them's a magnet. Nope, this one's a bomb. Wait for them to get a bit closer and kablamo. Another boss, too. Ooh, big red gem. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's keep working on the these volcanic orbs. It seems like the EXP gain is, is legitimately better on this environment, but maybe the enemy quality is... or quality quantity is lower. I don't know. Okay, snag that. Yeah, because we didn't get a magnet there. And is this just a... Ah, it's not a coin. Okay, work on the Viking Helm, even if I'm currently not using it for anything. I should start trying to take a little bit more damage. Okay, Energy Bolt, Piercing 7, cooldown 1.4. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, now I'm definitively below 50%. Was. Touch me. I wish to be harmed. Ooh, and we've got a treasure chest up here. Get away from the water mode. Yeah, we can keep grabbing gold pieces for the extra like a 90% damage boost at, at this point. Like it's a lot. Okay, Viking Helmet. Nah, Scholar. A lot of guns here. Please be gone. I don't want to play a bullet hell. I'm here to play a bullet heaven. I am the bullet hell, not you. Alright, there's the, there's the Ram Mobile. Which seems to have just, like, forgotten that I exist. Which is not strictly bad. Okay, it's a bunch of enemies. Oh yeah, here we go. This is the point where I start losing my ability to even look at this game. I do not know why that happens. 
I think it's just, I don't know, there's something about the 3D models and the, like, flow of this. And the indistinct nature of it all, or the lighting or the contrast, like, I really do not know why. But there's just a, a certain aspect of this game that just becomes visually uh, impossible for me to parse. Ooh, that was a big one. Igneous orbs, volcanic orbs, burning fireballs rotating in a large radius. Looks like it gets bigger. Ah. Not quite a short enough cooldown for me. Still, damage is great. Okay. We're on final wave, but that doesn't mean that I need to actually fight the boss. Or maybe it does. Because yeah, if I can hold out for another five and a half minutes, we do get another Chivo. But if it does seem like I'm going to die, then maybe I shouldn't do it. Uh, some of these guys are invulnerable. Oh, there it is. Ice flower. Not really what I was going for. Right, there we go. So they can die, they just randomly are invulnerable. Might be like a timing thing. Okay, I'm at least going to do a bunch of damage to the boss. Well, I've got this right now. That's interesting. Uh, overcasting the fire orb due to the book buff uh, created a like much more complex star pattern instead. That's really nice, actually. Very appreciated. All right, let's go grab the Necromancer Gauntlets level two. Get my HP back down below half. Yeah, so they do die. I think they just become invulnerable for a short period of time. Legitimately trying to keep my HP down, and it is not the most forthcoming. It seems like minions get stronger every 30 seconds or so. But my ent entire goal is going to be to get the Mecha Scorpion down to, like, super low. But low enough that, like, as soon as we hit that 16 minute mark, I can just be like, all right. Bye. And then just leave. There we go. That's some extra damage. Alright. And it is pretty wounded at this point. Yeah, I was hoping to get the um, shackles up to level 5, but I'm not betting on that. Not in the current situation. Kind of hoping one of these is a magnet. Yes. All right, there it is. Do we do it now? I think we do. I'll try and get Raven's Wing up, at the very least. Yeah, we... I don't think I'm going to go out of my way for Raven's Wing most of the time. Just because that EXP loss is a little rough. Maybe with the with the meta progression unlocks. 
Yeah, probably with the correct meta progression, it, it wouldn't be so bad. Okay. A couple seconds left. The main question is, do I want to boost my wolf stomp again? I think we'll get more opportunities to do so. I just know there was one quest objective for getting it up to maximum. Oh. I guess we just ran out of time. Huh. I guess 16 minutes is the upper limit. Well, Forge complete the stage. Energy Bolt to level 5. Necromancer Gauntlets level 5. Six stages. Energy Bolt to level 5 again. Raven Ring. Uh, Raven's Wing. Evolve Volcanic Orbs. Forge again. And then Star. Oh, did we not get the one for... I don't know. We also have rune levels. Increase the stage difficulty. Earn more rewards. Map. Map, where you can check the location of nearby power-ups, chests, etc. Ooh. And a new character. Uh, Lanny's. Lanny's? I don't know. Rogue with great agility and suspicious... Uh, sus and suspiciously lucky. Got it. And then we've unlocked Toxic Stench as a move. And a couple of evolutions. Nice. So I still gotta go back to the forest... Um, to complete more. So maybe we just got to go back to that one. And then also complete the graveyard without moving. That's fine. Boy. This is, like I said, this is a much bigger game than I thought it was going to be. Um. Oh, that's interesting. So, even though they're not revealed, uh, you can actually still complete those challenges. Um. Rune 0 out of 8. For Magnifier level 5, what does that even mean? Ah. Rune level... A lot. Enemies, reduced EXP. Oh, I don't like that. I guess the point is, though, you have more EXP to cope. Yeah, so it's not that bad. And then we also have challenges on top of it. Complete the stage, complete with the rogue. I... Cripes. I still think I have some troubles with this game, mainly just the fact that it's very hard for me to look at, but on the flip side, the amount of just available content here, the levels to go through, the things to unlock, uh, the game features that are admittedly maybe like uh, doled out a little little slowly. Wait, how much money do I have? Oh, not that much. Um, but the fact that we've only unlocked 40% of our features is kind of wild to me, because that means there's even more stuff. Die a total of five times. Oh. Yeah, maybe I should get some of those. Oh well. Uh, but one way or another, it seems like there's a lot left to this game that I haven't even touched. So I might come back to this one randomly, or maybe I'll do a YouTube stream at some point and try and get a little further in. But for now, at least, I should mention that Army of Rune is available on Steam in 1.0. I think it's like four or five bucks. This is one of those, like, dirt cheap games. Uh, I mean, pretty much every bullet heaven is a budget banger. Ah, uh, no, I'm wrong. It's eight bucks. Still, uh, for the amount of stuff in it, that's absurd. I don't think it ranks particularly highly on my, like, list of bullet heavens that I want to play often but I would love to see all that it has to offer all the same because it does seem like they've got a lot of neat ideas you just have to work for them and yeah looking at the steam steam page it looks like there's some really fun moves that I haven't even touched yet so yeah I'll guess I'll keep working on it for now though uh, if you guys like this video in any way shape or form leave me a like helps more than you know and if you want to see more rad new games every single day then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off but with that thanks for watching I'll see you next time